Hello Capricorn and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin and Copy today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. Whoa, let's talk about, we're getting a little oracle message here Cap. Let's talk about this person. Let's find out what they're thinking and feeling about you right now. We have a new chapter. They're trying to move on. We have soul contract. The lessons I learned will never be forgotten. Whoa, and then we have broken. I feel shattered about the situation. Okay. So let's find out how they're feeling about you. Let's talk about the biggest obstacle and challenge here. We're going to get their actions, see what you can expect with some heart fog. So mixed signals, blocked emotions, and somebody messed up here. All right, Kathy, let's chat about this person you're thinking about the most. Spirit guys, talk to us. How do they think and feel about Capricorn? Queen of Cups. Whoa, they have some deep feelings. This is love, okay? Uh, could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. And Capricorn, for those of you who are interested... I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, the link is in the description box below. We have the Ten of Wands. That's the obstacles here, okay? Their actions, what are they? The Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Interesting, okay? There's that King of Swords. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's talk. Queen of Cups is how they're thinking and feeling about you. They think you're very sensitive. Uh, I think you're very intuitive. Queen of Cups is a very divine energy, very um, attached and understanding of their emotions, so very in tune. But ultimately, it's a card of emotions, so pretty sure this person's in love with you. <laughs> they're thinking about you. There's a Nine of Swords. They're, they're thinking about messaging you. This is someone who's like up at night, and they're, yeah, there's the conflict. There it is. There's, they're thinking a lot about whatever happened here. This is someone who's like up at night, and they're texting, and then they delete it. They pick up the number. They dial the number. Ah, they don't make the phone call, right? They want to talk. But they're not doing or saying anything. They want to tell you how they feel, but they're conflicted. Maybe you had an argument, disagreement, whatever it happened. There's clearly a separation. They want to talk. About, well, not a cups, wish come true, dream fulfillment, but they're holding back. Yeah, there's a four of cups and the six of pentacles. They're definitely holding back. Um, there's the world. They think this is over. They think that you've moved on. They think there's competition. So your person that you're thinking about here, Capricorn, is in love with you. They want to talk to you. They're up at night thinking about you. Um... And how do they actually think? What do they think about? How, how do they see? They're stuck on you. They see is very enlightened. Man, master. They see someone spiritual. Master manifester here with this page of pentacles and the hanging man. Someone who makes things happen for themselves. But again, they're stuck on you. They want to talk to you. Maybe they're not in the position or they're not allowed or they're scared. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're thinking. Wow, they're up at night thinking about you a lot. All right. Well, that's where your person, that's the that's where their headspace is right now here, copy. So the Ten of Wands is the challenge. Uh your walls, your boundaries. <laughs> Let yeah, there's the challenge. Queen of Cups. Dealing with the feelings. Let's see here. Lovers. They're getting over what? They're getting a fresh start. Uh your boundaries. Yeah, and there's the tower. Ooh, there's the eight of cups. They didn't expect you to walk away from them. They thought that maybe you would wow. Well, maybe they I don't know, maybe they didn't. There's a six of wands. They really fan six of wands and the ace of wands. There's a lot of fantasizing here. Um, the challenge is your boundaries. The challenge is getting over the past here. So uh, that's the challenge from their point of view and their perspective. Now their actions are the four of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the ace of wands. I kind of feel like that's holding back. They want to talk to you. They want naughty time. They want a lot of things from you. But that four of pentacles, I just feel like they're holding back. Is there anything happening? Anything? Why is the Queen of Cups be flying out left, right, and center? No, oh, their intuition's telling them it's not the right time. Not the right time. So they're not doing anything. Yeah, there's their <laughs> they fantasize a lot about you though, Cap, but it's not the right time. They feel that this is over. They're having a tower moment here. Um, they're trying to move on, but they're really having a hard time doing that. There's a lot of back and forth energy here. They want you, they can't have you, and they want to speak their truth, but they can't. So your person's in a very well. Heart fog. I was gonna say brain fog. They're in a they're in a bad headspace right now. All right, let's grab some oracles. We'll see what they want to say, and then we'll get back to the tarot here, Capricorn. So, what's the caring connection between Capricorn and this person on their mind? Love, love conquers all. Okay, okay. Let's get the hidden truth. They could say something that they're not saying. They want to say they should. Maybe they shouldn't. What would it be? What would it be? Talk to me. All right. Here's there. What do we got, Cap? I hid who I really am from you. Okay. I love you unconditionally. We felt that with that Queen of Cups. I don't react when people mention you. You were the best thing in my life. And there's that soul contract. I am becoming a better person. 
All right, Capricorn, let's just get down to business. Let's get your potential outcome. No, no, no. When I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And whoa, when I say outcome, let's see how you're doing in a month. Let's see how things progress. We have the magician. Let's see if it's a, oh, we have the three of pentacles in reverse. Okay. What's anchoring this? Oh, shit. Three of swords, Cappy. Um, there's a two of cups. Okay, there's the Knight of Cups, there's the Five of Pentacles, and there's the Queen of Swords, there's the Page of Pentacles. The thing is, I do feel there's a conversation that takes place. There is, there is, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I think there's a conversation that takes place, but the thing is, that is the nail in the coffin. With the Magician and Three of Pentacles in reverse, it's, it's probably everything you didn't want to hear, but it made you realize that this is not a person you want in your life. Uh, I think it really hurt you. I think it really angered you. I think you're frustrated. You're heartbroken at the way that this situation has played out. But with this Knight of Cups, he's moving away from the Two of Cups. You're going to move in a different direction here. You're sick of the way that they make you feel. With this Queen of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, it's just like I'm sick of the way that this person makes me feel. Um, with that Three of Pentacles, I kind of feel like there's a lack of respect or a lack of appreciation, a lack of value towards you. And you're hurt. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say that Capricorn, I see you just hurting over this connection, heartbroken over this connection, but moving on and pursuing other op options, just looking forward, looking towards other people. Like I said, with that Queen of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, I don't think this was a good conversation. I think you're just going to say in yourself, I'm sick of the way you make me feel. Um, fuck that shit. You deserve better. And that's what I see going on here, Cap. So Capricorn, that's what I have. That was a pretty short reading, but I do see this connection coming to an end. Um, I don't, you know, like, like I said, you don't like how they make you feel. You don't want to be part of this anymore and you're moving on. So I'm sorry to say that, but I know that there's someone better for you with this Knight of Cups energy. <laughs> so Capricorn, I do hope you enjoyed your reading and I'm sorry that this connection is coming to an end. Um, let's close your reading off today. I'm going to get a final message and then we'll do a yes or no question, Cap. So yes or no, what's the answer for Capricorn? Or excuse me, what the heck? That was weird. Um, we'll get that in a moment, but here's your final message. <laughs> Talk about habit. Um, be patient with yourself, yeah. Self-growth is tender, it's holy ground. There is no greater investment. It takes time to heal and let go of past energies. Um, so before bed, recite these following affirmations five times. I am a work in progress. Today I am stronger than yesterday. And tomorrow I will be stronger than today. All right, Cap, let's get to your yes or no question for those of you that like it. And for those of you that don't, I do wish you the best of luck. Until next time. All right, and those of you that want the yes or no, what's the answer? Are you ready, Capricorn? Yes or no? The answer is negative. That's what I got. Capricorn, I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.